This morning on KRK for today, community mourning the loss of a beloved band director, how students and staff are remembering his life. Plus, a casino is set to have a big celebration for their new expansion project, how much they're going to be spending on their new facilities, and how one Arkansas woman was able to find success for her business during the peak of the pandemic. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK for today. Good morning, happy Friday. Thanks so much for waking up early with us on KRK4 Today. I'm Troy Lynch. We start with the Malvern School District family mourning the loss of longtime band director Ken Williams, who died after being hit by a car Tuesday afternoon. Kenneth Williams is remembered by staff and students as a man that had a passion for music, but that's just the surface. Tragically, he passed away by doing what he did daily, helping others. And our Gary Burton Jr. has more. He obviously touched many lives. The visitation for Mr. Williams will be held this Saturday at Regency Funeral Home from 6 to 8 p.m. and his funeral on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. at the Emanuel Baptist Church in Malvern. Williams was 60 years old. All right, now on to your local news that matters. Looking ahead, Southland Casino is set to have a ribbon-cutting ceremony Tuesday, May 3rd as a part of their new planned casino expansion. The new space will add 113,000 square feet of casino space and will add 2,400 new gaming machines. The multi-year $320 million expansion project at the property is ongoing on a 20-story, 300-room hotel tower. All right, this weekend, Central Arkansas is celebrating its 501 day with events in several cities. In North Little Rock, the festivities, they're going to kick off Saturday with events like ballet on the ground, the Central Arkansas Heart Walk, Goat Yoga, that is a fan favorite. I want to try that. And an Arkansas Travelers game, just to name a few things. On Sunday, they're going to host submarine tours, Funland Amusement Park deals, and another game for the Arkansas Travelers. Get your baseball in. It's definitely a lot of fun. All right, UAMS will be hosting its uh, Be a Part of the Cure Walk this weekend. It's scheduled for Saturday at 8 at War Memorial Stadium. The walk is to honor cancer patients and survivors and raise money for research programs at the Cancer Institute. Daniel Musselman, she is the MC this year. Registration is $30 for adults, $10 for kids ages 14 to 17, and comes with a free T-shirt. All right, heads up to all the gardeners out there. You know who I'm talking about, mulch. It's like the icing on the cake for your plants, and you can pick up some free mulch from Pulaski County. It's free to load at the locations you see right here on your screen, including Two Rivers Park and Batesville Pike Auxiliary Yard. Go get your mulch. And I don't care what anybody says, 84 in Arkansas, that is hot. Okay, coming up, as the weather gets sunnier, the company's releasing new treats that they hope will make your summer even better. And Amazon is getting ready for the biggest online shopping day of the year. We've got you covered. We've got the details for you coming up right after the break. All right, 411 now. Time to see what's trending. You know, on the contrary of Game of Thrones, warm weather is coming. Yeah. Dunkin' releasing new treats to help you enjoy this summertime. And look how delicious these look. The company releasing their new cake batter flavored latte. And get this cornbread donuts. Ooh. Joel, you that trying that? like a lot of sugar. Uh, yeah. I might try it and then I'll regret it immediately. I'm not a huge cornbread fan, but might have to try that. But they also plan to include a new tomato pestle grilled cheese sandwich. That sounds pretty good. In addition to those new treats, though, they're going to bring back some classics, including the mango pineapple refresher and sunrise batch ice coffee. Are you a Dunkin' guy or Starbucks? Uh, honestly, I really don't we go to either. I don't know. Do we have a Dunkin' here? I, not that I know of. I know of several Starbucks. I feel like I've Yeah, so we have to say here. Starbucks, right? Yeah, definitely. So you already have the membership, so you're right, good. Right, right. Just giving you more reason to spend more money exactly. on Prime Day. Okay, from now on, Google will let users block targeted ads on topics like dating, pregnancy, and weight loss. Google has been in hot water before after showing users ads that they just don't want to see. I thought that's what the purpose of ads were. The company stating that they want users to have more control of their experience, and users may now make changes on their Google settings page. You know, Joel, I mean, 
you don't get everything you want in life. I bought shoes online the uh -huh. other day, and I have seen thousands of commercials about those shoes. It's I'm like, amazing. I already bought them. <laughs> get off my back. Amazing. <laughs> All right, coming up, a deadly event soon to be turned into a movie. How this film could affect a trial. And those temperatures are... Right, coming up, we're going to take a look at the success of an Arkansas business owner who turned a small food truck into a franchise restaurant. Do not miss that. 423, your Friday morning. Throughout the pandemic, we saw restaurants close their doors for good. We even saw some go from a brick and mortar to a food truck just to save some money. But one Arkansas woman went the other way, starting as a food truck and has grown into a franchise. Our Hillary Hunt introduces us to the mastermind behind one of Little Rock's up and coming restaurants. Mm mm, that looks good. At 427. Mm. Well, yeah. Mm. Look. I know where I'm going after work. Right? <laughs> right? What's going on in here? Obviously, DJ and Hunter and Pat are in the building now. <laughs> They're not saying any words. They're just, mm, whole time. It looked great. It looked amazing. 